Have you, like me, found that problems in business, perhaps in personal life too, can be complex, difficult to get your head around, intractable things, difficult to know where to begin, what we call messy or wicked problems? So here's something that might help. A little concept that we call divide to multiply. Essentially, it says you can take the, the nature of the problem, understand it, anatomize it, if you like, address its component parts and tackle them individually and get the benefit of having the component parts improve and compound upon one another. Here's an example. Suppose, like many business owners, you're looking to make, create more customers for your business, maybe generate more sales revenue, or of course, we want to make more profits. We can't easily act upon getting more customers because the component parts are not obvious, but they are. That we need to generate leads, and then we need to be able to convert those leads through our sales process at a certain rate to get more customers. Of course, once we've got more customers, we want them to buy from us, and we only need to buy from us at a certain number of transactions in a given period might be a, a year that we're thinking about, could be a month, whatever the time frame of your business and for your calculation. And they also need to buy from us at a certain amount. So we use the idea of average value sales. So here's a compounding again. The number of customers that you've generated multiplied by the number of transactions, the frequency with which they purchase from you in, the, in that period compounded with the average value sale, will they'll, they'll then generate your sales revenue. If we want to make profit, of course, we need to make a margin. But by breaking down the component parts, the inputs, we can affect the results that we're looking for, take away ideas for improving the general profitability and growth in the business. Every business that's ever grown at some level has been using this formula. Just illustrate it with some numbers. So if we've got a business that's doing 4,000 leads in the period and converting one in four, it's going to generate 1,000 customers in that period. Suppose they buy twice at an average sale price of £100, then you've generated £200,000 revenue in this little business. If a quarter of their revenue goes to profit, then they're going to make £50,000. So here's the really interesting bit. If we improve the component parts individually, they accumulate and act upon each other in a way that compounds the result way beyond the individual improvements. So for example, if we take those illustrative numbers and improve them, by just 10%, you can see how 4,000 becomes 4,400. 25% doesn't go to 35%, it goes to 27.5%. But you can just see how we generate not 10% improvement in customers, but 21%. Following it through, the number of transactions grows, the, number of the average value sale grows to 110, which generates an improvement, again, not of 10%, but 46% improvement in sales revenue. Compound that with your percentage margin improvement and we generated a massive 61%. You can plug in your own numbers into this formula, apply 10%, percentage improvements will come out the same. I hope that's given you some thought, food for thought about how to tackle wicked problems. We used it on uh, the Action Coach 5 Ways model to help illustrate compounding, but essentially take your wicked problems, anatomize them, divide them up and use them upon each other by multiplying them to get the benefit you're looking for. Hope that helps.